<laughs> Instead of finding Booth a doctor, Harold has ended up in a brothel in Bowling Green. He boasts of having assassinated the Yankee president. The women are impressed and will later give him away. The next morning, Harold still hasn't returned. My soul, my life, everything I own belongs to the South. For so long I have invested all my energy in fulfilling my goal. Now I have been so bitterly disappointed. Booth decides to change his appearance to make it harder to recognize him. I know that I don't have much time left, but I'm not going to make it easy for them. I can only walk on one leg, but I have the brain of 20 men. I, John Wilkes Booth, have earned my ticket to immortality. Soldiers are on their way to Bowling Green. One of the fugitives has allegedly been sighted in a brothel. At the Washington Navy Yard Prison, preparations are underway for a multiple execution. Carpenters are constructing the gallows from which the conspirators will be hung. It will be an historic event, carried out in front of the American press. Meanwhile, the soldiers have secretly followed Harold after being tipped off by the prostitutes. The dramatic chase has reached its grand finale. Come on! We know you're in there, Bert! Come on! It's over. Who do you take me for? It doesn't matter anymore. It's over. No, it doesn't. Stay. You stay! It's over! Fine! Leave the rifle! Keep the damn rifle, coward! You're a coward! I'm coming out! Okay. I'm unarmed! Tonight. I will direct my own performance. Caesar is gone once and for all. Come out! We'll give you ten seconds more! Brutus, your hour has come. New tyrants will make your greatness shine in a new splendor. Torches! Fire the bar! Fire the bar! I will not come out this evening! Useless. 
John Wilkes Booth dies at the very same time of day as his victim did 11 days earlier. 7.22. A cannon boat carries Booth's body to Washington. He is brought to an armoured naval vessel where an autopsy is performed. The sailors grow furious at the sight of him and throw his body overboard. It is later retrieved and buried in a storage room at the old penitentiary in Washington. His captured accomplice, David Herald, is jailed with the other conspirators at the military prison. He too is put on trial. His sentence is soon declared. Death by hanging.